Also breaking tonight, almost five years after Erica Parsons went missing from her home, we've learned her adoptive parents, Sandy and Casey Parsons, will be charged with first degree murder. The Parsons have always denied they had anything to do with the disappearance of the little girl. So let's take you back through this case. Erica was first reported missing in July of 2013 by her brother, who told investigators he hadn't seen her since November of 2011. The first big break in the case came in September of 2016, when her adoptive father led investigators to Chesterfield County, where she was buried. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey has been covering Erica's story from the very beginning. He's in Salisbury tonight with the update. Rad. Sheriff Kevin Auten, who announced the indictments here today, said there were times during the investigation he thought this day would never come, but he did because he said investigators never gave up. We just did not want to leave a little girl out there. We wanted to bring her home. It was five years ago when Erica Parsons first disappeared. Not believing the story Sandy and Casey were telling investigators, the FBI joined in the search for clues. But for five years, there was little evidence as to what happened. Sandy and Casey Parsons were eventually sent to prison for collecting state benefits even after Erica disappeared. Eventually, Sandy cooperated and led investigators to where Erica's body was found buried in a shallow grave. Now the Parsons will be brought back to Salisbury to face charges in her death. There are people that uh, think the Parsons should have already been hung on the square and uh, you know, they'll have their day in court and we'll let the, the jury decide their fate. The indictments come just days after Erica Parsons, had she lived, would have celebrated her 20th birthday. In Salisbury, Radberkey, NBC Charlotte.